Hello viewers, this time it will be a short clip about Android, development in Android and about uh, typ typical uh, scenario what to do in case some methods I want to use are deprecated in this version but they are okay in other version, right? So I will just show you a few examples how to handle this situation and this is example code here. So let's assume that our application is spread between SDK and 9 and 19 so it's quite a big range so surely we will encounter some situations that we the methods that we are going to use are no longer valid in version like 16 or higher but they are okay in below versions so what to do in these situations so uh, I have a few examples right here and I will just mark them for you and explain so for example mm, I, I have a method which is uh, setting background of some buttons okay so uh, normally when I have a button I there is a, me a method which is set uh, uh, set background but uh, it actually turns out that uh, uh, that uh, in versions before jelly bean which is 16 uh, you were doing that by uh, calling set background trouble, okay? But above Jelly Bean, you are actually calling just set, set background, and above Jelly Bean, the set background drawable for button uh, objects is no longer valid; it's deprecated. So how do you uh, how do you tackle this? So this is actually the part of code which is uh, calling the method that is setting the background of button so I have two separate methods here one is for versions above jelly bean and one is for older versions so there is just a simple test simple condition right here so if a uh, current device which is running this application is uh, the SDK of 16 or above so it is jelly bean or higher we will call one method. In case it's uh, older, we will call the old method. So, and for the older methods, the method for older uh, background setting, I you I simply add suppress warnings, so Eclipse doesn't actually display any, any warnings right here. If I remove it, right, the uh, Eclipse will automatically share uh, highlight it as as uh, warning. So I don't want it, so I just add suppress warnings right here. And the method for a newer version of setting background for buttons, I, I add target API flag right there and set it for jelly bean. This means that this method will be called for, will be valid for a system that is minimum jelly bean and higher so it can be a 16 17 19 right for these this method will be valid because of this flag so this is one example this example is for case when you when your application is spread through many SDK versions and for older versions one method is valid but for uh, newer versions this method is no longer valid you have to use other one so what you do is simple so you make two different methods one for newer version one for older version and you make a test so if the test uh, is okay for a newer version you call the newer method if the test is okay for older version you call the older method and for older method you add suppress warnings so if there are no warnings in your eclipse and for newer method you just define target app so this is one example Another example, uh, quite similar, is uh, for example, uh, I want to initiate action bar for my application, and action bar is actually available since Honeycomb, so it's SDK number 11. So, very similar. I add the test that uh, since SDK 11, I want to do something, and this uh, method uh, initiate action bar is actually also at target API here which makes it valid for Honeycomb and above and in this method I actually call uh, that my application will be using uh, action bar right that the action bar will be displayed in this uh, uh, above 
maybe with some other examples. So, for example, I I uh, I have some UI views in my application, and I want to use I want to change their transparency. So, again, uh, I have a method here which sets this uh, transparency and setting transparency be before honeycomb and, and after honeycomb is actually different uh, be before honeycomb you are setting alpha using integer and after uh, you are actually using float so uh, I have same way uh, I have a test right here which calls a uh, method for newer alpha setting uh, for versions above 11 and uh, which is setting uh, which is using a uh, version for older way if uh, otherwise so and same way older method is simply suppressing uh, deprecation warnings and newer method is targeting honeycomb which is SDK 11 or newer so they, they are exactly same steps in initial method or place you are calling two different methods and uh, depending or more depending for which version which versions you are targeting and these versions have these flags which are uh, actually uh, not allowing Eclipse to display you any warnings and which are make this uh, uh, method okay for specified SDK version and above so it's actually very simple so if you have a widespread if you want your application to handle older and newer uh, SDKs, it's actually no problem. You just have to handle different cases, and that's it. So that's actually all. Thanks, guys, for thanks, guys, for watching this. I hope it helps somebody. So take care. Till next time.